but let's get started. Let's get started on the fucking Thamacius playlist, dude. What the newly classified 9-11 files reveal. The commemorations this weekend on the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. Three presidents joins the ceremony at Ground Zero in Manhattan, and on Saturday night, the tribute in light, a look back at the New York City skyline before the attacks. That was hours after the ceremonies. The Biden administration began releasing newly classified documents on the 9-11 investigation, and our chief justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas, is in Washington with the story. Good morning, Pierre. George, good morning. Even as the nation mourned those who died in the horrific attacks of 20 years ago, today there are new questions about whether the Saudi government played a role in the planning of 9-11. Family members of those lost on 9-11 are still demanding answers about the Saudi government, never forgetting that 15 of the 19 hijackers were from Saudi Arabia. For 20 years, the Saudi government has relied upon the United States government to bury the fact. I just want to point out that, once again, everybody's favorite liberal, Barack Obama, unironically was against this move, against the families, the victims of 9-11, suing Saudi Arabia. Obama, in an awkward twist, becomes Saudi Arabia's defender. Long a critic, the president now finds himself in the uncomfortable spot of protecting the austere desert monarchy from Congress. Obama has promised to veto a bill that Congress passed unanimously allowing the families of 9-11 victims to sue Saudi Arabia over alleged links to the 2001 terror attacks. That's right, baby. That's right, that's Obama! My man, uh, taking a brave stance. Taking a fucking brave stance, dude. Finally defending the defenseless. The kingdom of Saudi Arabia. When a bill is unanimous, your veto doesn't mean shit, by the way, which is the hilarious part of this. Like, like you literally, you didn't have to do that. Like, this is purely symbolic. You understand? Because when a bill is unanimous and you fucking veto it, then Congress can go back and override that veto. And if it's a unanimous bill, then you literally have nothing. Like you are purely objecting out of symbolism. Okay? And my man did that. My man really was like, I'm going to put myself out there. And guess what? If you like your, if you like your state sponsor of terrorism, you can keep it. Uh, if you'd like to sue the government of Saudi Arabia, you can't keep it. All right, let's keep going. And protect them <laughs> and hide their culpability from the world. And that ended last night. Responding to the pressure from the families who've sued the Saudi government, the FBI has declassified an investigative report detailing contacts between Saudi officials and some of the 9-11 hijackers. The release came Saturday night, just hours after the anniversary ceremonies ended. The newly released documents following an executive order from President Biden detailed how a Saudi diplomat living in Los Angeles assisted two of the hijackers once they arrived in the U.S. What? Described at the time as two very significant people. That's crazy, man. That's wild. And according to the FBI's report, another Saudi government employee spent the night in a hotel with another man connected to one of Osama bin Laden's top lieutenants. Stop it. Stop. Who? Who could have predicted this? That's crazy. Man, all of this stuff. I mean, I must be a conspiracy theorist, right? For saying all this stuff. Oh, wait, never mind. It, it's, uh, oh, no, it's the truth. Oh, wow, that's, that's wild, dude. We're very excited because this is the tip of the iceberg. You know, more is going to be coming. But the Saudi government is flatly rejecting any notion of involvement, saying... Any allegation that Saudi Arabia is complicit in the September 11th attacks is categorically false. The 9-11... There are royal family members that were directly funding uh, these efforts, okay? 
The commission so. did not find any conclusive evidence of Saudi government involvement, but some of the 9-11 families are hoping with more documents being classified, declassified, the case will be made. George? And we will be seeing those in the coming days. Yeah, totally, dude. Totally. Operation Encore was yet another instance where the government was like, let's take a look at all of our intelligence communities and see what level of involvement occurred with a foreign, a uh, foreign ally, uh, in, uh, one of the most devastating attacks, uh, that has ever occurred on U S soil by a foreign nation. Oh, never mind. We found no wrongdoing. We investigated ourselves and found no wrongdoing. Like the only thing that we will find potentially that I, I think could be interesting. Uh, as far as like new information here could be that because there is like conflict within the FBI and CIA, there will be some potential finger pointing and that might release a trove of information that we otherwise would never have access to because the FBI will say it's the CIA's fault and the CIA will say it's the FBI's fault. And that is the only opportunity we might have to like get some fucking info out of this situation.